John the Baptist. Matthew 3. Cozy up, if you can, close your eyes. We are about to unbox our Bible story, so relax your body and make sure you're comfortable and ready for rest. Feel your chest rise and fall as you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Our story begins with a friend of Jesus's. Actually, it's his cousin, John the Baptist. John the Baptist lived in the desert of Judea, and he would tell people about God. The Bible in the Old Testament had a few things to say about John. It says in Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord make straight paths for him. John was a bit different. His clothes were made from camel's hair and he had a leather belt around his waist. For dinner, he ate locust, an insect, and wild honey. People from everywhere came to visit John the Baptist. John would help people understand more about God. When people wanted to follow God, John helped them get baptised, a symbol people can see of the heart that has made a decision to follow God. John encouraged people to leave behind the unkind things that they had done in their lives. They said they were sorry for them. They then got baptised in the Jordan River. John the Baptist would baptise them He would ask them to come in the river. He would dunk their heads quickly under water and then pull them out of the water. John the Baptist had a great job, but he knew there was someone else coming that had an even more important job. I baptise with water as a symbol, but someone else is coming more powerful than me. I am not even worthy of taking off his shoes. He will baptise with the Holy Spirit. Some people guessed who John the Baptist was talking about. Do you think you can imagine who he might be talking about? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending someone greater to baptise with the Holy Spirit. Amen. You've been listening to Children's Bible Story Podcast with Kieran. Music by Greg Bell.